Welcome back to Grim 3D. There's been a lot of stuff happening and I wanted to get you guys in on it. Today, we are unboxing a Bamboo Lab A1 combo. It's gonna be awesome. Stick around. So right now in Bamboo World, they are having a sale. They're having their Black Friday sale, which I believe goes through the first part of December. And right now it's the middle of November. So I have purchased one, an A1 combo that will do four colors and I'm pretty excited. This is a pretty new thing for my channel. I've been doing like the Maker Select and the Wan House, and I've also been doing Prusa for a long time, but now I am jumping into the bamboos. So give me a second and I'll get this set up and I'll show you the unboxing. A few moments later. It took a minute to get this set up. Sorry, this box is so big that I put it up on my desk and now I get a, I really had to move my camera back and I just don't like, my setup here is not designed to, to shoot something this tall, this big, all that. I had to get out an old tripod, put my camera on it. And so we're, we're, we're gonna try this out. Uh, first thing you're gonna notice probably, if you look, is that this in the box is not my first Bamboo Lab A1 combo. I have one right there. There's the AMS and there's the A1 that's printing right now uh, some models for me. So that's the first thing you're probably gonna notice. But I wanted to show you how well this is boxed and how it comes from the factory and how it comes from Bamboo. So we should just be able to go ahead and uh, let's get into it. Get out my trusty super tiny pocket knife. And I may have to cut and, you know, rearrange some stuff here because this, this really is a pretty big box. Like, I mean, now you, you can't see anything that's flat. So maybe uh, in a few minutes I'll cut that off. But so. Got some packing stuff. Get rid of that. The kit comes with um, one plate. This is the textured plate. Uh, so they work great. So I can tell you, I'm pretty excited about opening this and getting this onto my uh, YouTube channel. But um, I have been using the A1 for a while and they seem pretty, I mean, the engineering is amazing and they seem pretty flawless in their, in their you know, ability to throw down filament. So um, I am kind of excited to have a second one and to be able to show people stuff that's going on, everything that's happening. Now, normally I believe you would just yank this out of the box with this, uh, but I'm not gonna reset up all the cameras to, yank stuff out. I'm just going to pull this up one at a time, get this stuff out of the way. All right, so right here, this is the, uh, the AMS stand for if you want to run the AMS on a table. The AMS can actually go on the left or the right of the printer, so these are pretty useful. Uh, you'll notice that my AMS back here is actually mounted to the wall. That is from with a 3D print that I got uh, from Bamboo Lab themselves. Uh, I think it was a it was a customer that has sent it in. Anyways, so here are some Bamboo Lab color swatches for uh, for ordering. They Bamboo Lab does have a pretty pretty decent collection of filament that you can get. And one of the things that's really cool about the Bamboo Lab filament is it comes, a Bamboo Lab filament comes with an RFID tag on it. And the RFID tag is read directly by the AMS. And then the AMS knows exactly what's plugged into it before without you even having to do anything. So there's all their color swatches for different filaments that they have, stuff that they have in stock, uh, those, would be great for uh, getting online and ordering filament. I have ordered some filament from Bamboo. 
Uh, it's pretty cost effective. I like it. It's running great. Uh, the RFID tag is a great idea and I'm really loving that as well. It really makes things faster for you uh, in the end. So there's your filament swatches. We'll put those back in there later. Uh, this is a tool pack right here. So there's a little overhead view or a little front view uh, of the tool pack. In here is everything you need, not only to put the print printer together, but to actually do your basic maintenance um, off and on with the, the bamboo once it's set up. These are the AMS spools right here. So there's two because they are directional. So there's two goes on one side and the other two go on the other side. They're properly labeled. You'll notice that these two have a yellow lat tag and these two have a green tag. So uh, that's pretty sweet. Keeping it clean, keeping it clear. Instructions are great. Won't have any trouble putting it together. So we'll set those aside. So this is kind of a plus or a bonus that came with ba from Bamboo Lab. This is a clock movement. So if I wanted to make a clock on my printer, uh, this is the movement that I would need for it or I could use for it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I might make a clock here pretty soon, but I haven't even actually designed one yet. So stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll get that done soon. Some big old chunk of foam. Here's the AMS unit itself. This is the unit that, uh, notice the, the colored. So I know that this, this uh, yellow colored filament roller goes on there and this green colored filament roller goes on there. And it's actually pretty, pretty easy to get those put together and installed. Notice it's banded, which is awesome, so I can, uh, so there's no damage in shipping that kind of stuff. I think they really did a great job of packing it. So um, there's the AMS. You'll notice I'm not really trying to put this together um, right now. I'm going to do another video on assembly. The bamboo, assembling the Bamboo A1 it does not take much time at all. There's only a few uh, little tricks to it. So uh, we will do that sometime in the future. Probably, I'll probably record it tonight, but you'll probably see it next week. So this right here, this is a, uh, um, if you wanna use a single spool instead of the AMS, this clamps on the top of the uh, Z gantry up at the top, and then you can put your filament on there, and then it's got a nice a uh, little Bowden, flexible rotary Bowden tube starter uh, thing on the top there so that you can get uh, the filament into the Bowden tube and into the printer. So I haven't actually used this on mine because as you can see, I'm using an AMS already. So there you have it. Uh, this is what I refer to lovingly as the poop flinger. So this is where the print head will park and then throw down uh, some purge and then it'll flip it and this will fling it out away from the print bed. So it's pretty, pretty ingenious idea, I think, for it to just flip that out of the way. Um, I haven't had any trouble with this yet, but I did buy an extra one just in case um, I needed, or like this, you know, wore out. I don't know if they wear out. I don't know what your longevity is on this. So, cause I just barely got into it, but that's what that is. That is officially the poop flinger. Um, power cord, and this is just a basic, this is just basic like computer three prong power cord. So um, most people have more than one of those already. Another layer, I mean, notice this packing, by the way, this is some heavy cardboard and some heavy, heavy styrofoam. They've got at least two densities of styrofoam in here, which is pretty awesome. There aren't really any big enough sheets that I could hang on to it and and uh, laser cut it though, so I, I'm just, just gonna probably get thrown away. Right here, and you'll notice how well it's packaged. It's got zip ties. 
It's got card, its own cardboard. It's got the parts that you need to put it together. All collected, all put in there. There's some high density foam right there to keep that strong. This is the entire Z gantry with motors and the print head and everything right here. So uh, when they say it comes, you know, partially assembled, it's the truth. Like it's almost entirely assembled. Uh, and we will, once again, check my video next week or sometime for assembly. So we'll put this on the floor. Once again, excellent foam packing. Excellent packaging. I can't even figure out how to lift that out of there. Let's try this side. So this. Big old pack of desiccant in there. That's nice. So this is the basically the rest of the printer. So this is, and it's locked down right now. You can't, you can't move it. It's got some screws underneath. And I'm, once again, we'll do that in another video. There's a, a cleaner for the nozzle, and this is where your print plate goes. And this is your, your control panel, which is a touch screen, which is really nice. And so this is like the main part of the printer right here um, that goes down on the table, print bed, the whole nine yards. And this right here is where the this is where that Z gantry bolts in right there to make it a complete printer. So uh, once again, check back next week and we'll have video for that. Um, this printer does run off of a micro SD card. I don't know if you can see that on the camera overhead or forward looking camera. I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's a micro SD card, which is awesome. I love the micro SD. So now let's check the box to see what else is in there. There's some more foam. Oh, these are the uh, Bowden tubes for the AMS. And here's a little sample of filament. It's just basic white, PLA basic white filament. And the, this is a pretty easy, decent like Bowden tube set. I think for the way I'm gonna set up my next printer, cause it's gonna go over kind of in the corner. I'm gonna have to find myself some longer Bowden tubes, but uh, stay tuned for that next video and I'll show you all about that. More cardboard, more cardboard and a plastic bag. And it looks like that is it. So big old empty box right here. So there you have it, completely unboxed an A1 combo set. Like I said, right now, it is the middle of November in 2024, and they are having their Black Friday sales, so they're gonna be on sale for a pretty decent price. Uh, full disclosure, I bought this absolutely by myself, all my own money. This is not a paid endorsement of bamboo. This is not anything I just thought my viewers would like to know that I'm getting into the bamboo and the multicolor uh, action with this AMS system. And so far from what I've seen, I like it. It works pretty good. It's pretty solid. The engineering's great. Um, and it is able to finish prints even if it has trouble sometimes. So uh, that's pretty slick. So thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel and you find any of this valuable, I'd love a subscription. And if you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. Just remember to keep it civil and we'll see you out there. Mm -hmm.